All right, so last time we made it into the jungle. Um, we progressed through one of the maps, um, pushed forward, made it to a little uh, survive the enemy assault kind of areas, which we did. All right, can't break that. Um, oh, this isn't looking good. Push forward. We? Um, push forward. We're just we're just looking for the pounder now. Uh, is basically what's going on. Trying to get resources for item upgrades. Looking for the founder. Burden of the Follower. Ooh, what's that? Reduces fire rate by 35%. Increases mod power generation by 100%. That's kind of nice. Wow. Rude. Just for a second. Could we please stop having people run at me? Oh, hi. My word. The aggro ranges are just like, like, it almost feels like half the time it like doesn't matter if you choose to take like a different path because as soon as you aggro like the right enemy, they're, they're all coming for you anyways. That's okay though. We made it. Ooh. Thanks. There's so many winding paths that all just basically end up like the same, the same place. Good enough. Take the galvanized iron and run. What is this? Ethereal orb. Why does it feel so clunky just to have uh have your sight out like the other way. Ah. Nope. I don't know, man. Let's go take a peek. I mean, there's some stuff happening.
Oh, good. I'm glad we came back this way, at least. Chest, some pots. The only reason that we're actually breaking these eight, the scrap is nice, but there's a chance that every single one of these breakable pots has galvanized iron in it as well. Jesus. Where were you even? We had cleared this space out. I guess we kind of turned and went this way instead. My goodness. Might as well use this now. Go ahead and heal up. So I think we can uh, go ahead and just switch this preemptively. Um, I don't think that we're getting whatever this other one is eroded in this area. I think it's all the shock, if we even get shocked. From what everybody was saying, it doesn't happen uh, all too frequently. All right, well, that's not the way that we get in there. I was real skeptical of how well the sniper would work in like single player. Like ideally, right? Because this game does seem to have a bit more of a uh, multiplayer-esque focus. You would think that like having somebody who's like a, like a tank, who's just gonna like run up and like distract the enemies or something would be the most beneficial use. But it actually works pretty well. Hi, where? Yeah, anyways though. It does like enough damage. Like an individual capacity. It's not really anything to worry about. Hi? Wild man. Keep on thinking that I'm hearing footsteps behind me. Hey, VT. Hey, Majestic man. How's it going? Particle accelerator is always fun. Yeah, I'm having a good time with it. I, I was skeptical initially because my like sniper like out damaged it, but I I am enjoying the setup of it and if the enemies happen to get a little too much you know it always got the black hole oh he's dead yeah see like galvanized iron How's it going? Not too bad. Oh, Jesus. How are you guys doing? Trying to get some, uh, a little bit more planning done of sorts. Think about stream content that I want to be making and or like, how can I make it's like how can I how can I free up mental space? Both like on stream and for uh for the YouTube videos and stuff. 
not a hundred percent sure that my initial idea is gonna is gonna be the thing that does it. Which was uh play the RPGs on stream. It's just such a long process with the uh, with the gaming time that we have, so I think I need a slightly different focus. Ooh, chest. Oh wait, hold up. Enemy. Hello? Show yourself. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I think we're good. Adrenaline. Give me them drugs. Running low, a little low on uh, on long shot ammo. All right, yeah, long shot, long gun. Words. So it happens when you take a a weekend off of the game. Is it like a funeral pyre? Oh, now I feel bad. Whoops. But yeah, so anyways, brainstorming, doing all that. Trying to set up my uh, my work time around the holidays and everything like that. How you guys doing? Ooh. Okay, so we couldn't go in this way, and there's a whole section over here that we have not looked at yet before we decide to dive down into whatever this next area is. So first off is this lower section right there. Go and do a quick little sweep. Never know what kind of loot's going to be around working around the holidays. Yeah, it's not like we're doing much else, right? But... <laughs> Oh, speaking of working around the holidays, uh, there will not be a stream this uh, this Friday. Obviously, it's Christmas Day. Uh, we will stream Christmas Eve. That all you got? Um, but not gonna do a stream day of. I'll be taking that time off. Spend it with the family. <laughs> so we'll we'll pick back up. I'm surprised that that guy didn't actually aggro like anywhere else. What? I'm not. I mean, I guess it's not specifically a chest. But yeah, still trying to get that uh that first that first YouTube video finished. I need to get it finished and just get it published, you know. Climb it. There we go. Okay, that area has been looked at. That was totally a chest. It didn't open. There was no uh, there was no marker there. Okay, so now we just need to basically walk back around here. There's usually like at least two exits down into things. No, I did not say anything to you phone thank you um so i'm i'm assuming that that the that the path this way will just lead to another you know area transition of some sort all right okay we turned around after this like oh let's go the other way for a second Oh god. Visit a friend this afternoon, pick up stuff to make some chocolate truffles. Ooh, nice. Oh god, I walked into both of them.
I decided that I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to try my hand at tamales this, uh, this winter. Although I've never made them before. Oh my god, dude. And I realize, I, I know that it's usually like a, like a group effort. So I'm a little nervous, but it's what sounds really good. So I'm going to see if I can get all the ingredients that I need. Never had one. It's like a, um, it's a, it's like a, it's a Hispanic dish. Um, oh yeah. Looks tasty. Yeah. And it's a. Just like a like a um, cornmeal, and it's uh, wrapped in uh, in a corn husk, and you usually put like a filling of some sort in it. Just notice that that's not in a good place. Shook from your last remnant session. So many hammers thrown at me. At you and not your friends. Oh, that's always tough. <laughs> You're like, why are they all targeting me? I heard you somewhere. Don't think I didn't. Yeah, at least when you're playing single player, there's never any question who the enemies are going to target. The answer is always you. Don't mind if I do. I still heard a guy somewhere over. I know you're here, Chief. Down. I was gonna say, oh, I forgot to, to pop the elixir again, but we I think we're out of those. Oh, man. All right, we got 10. Oh, no, wait. We got a refill here. I was like 10 long gun bullets and a dream. All right, there we go. A little bit more. Ooh, what's this? A bandage. Thanks. I don't think we've actually, like, bled in a little while, though. It's still nice to get. Any supplies that you don't have to buy seem pretty nice to get. Ah, oh, hey, look, I was right. Man. What? Oh, I hate it. I really, I really don't like how they did the map. Bleed only happens to you when you take them off. You're like, I don't need these. I haven't, I haven't been bled in a long time. And then, of course, just that instant, right? That's fair. I mean, it's not. <laughs> Not so fair. I feel like I haven't had him on the bar in a while, though. All right. One trait point available. Um, end it there. We get an extra 10% crit chance. That's pretty significant. Crap. 
the withering village. So I feel like I feel like going into that other one that was over there, that other uh, that other path out of that that first area would probably have let us loop around. Uh, it's always so like you just never know which which direction you like should go. So it's kind of pick a door and go, double back if needed, yeah. I just wish there was like a slightly quicker way to double back. It just takes so long. Especially when you like get through and then you rest at a spot. Then all the enemies are back. I don't want to deal with that. Not that they gave us like a lot of trouble, I just don't want to deal with it. Ooh, galvanized iron. Oh god. But yeah, that's essentially it, right? Pick it. Oh god. I was like, I'm fine. I can go forward. Yeah, we should probably double back, all things considered. Oh god. Wow, rude. Anyways, Dorm Amulet. We actually got a good necklace, that would be pretty neat. Um. Oof. That Increases shock damage by 15% weapon mods that inflict shock deal an extra 10. Okay. Meh. None of these are super fantastic anyways. I think we have the one that's the least bad. I feel like if the sound design in this was just like a little better... that RNG can be rough, yeah. Yeah, it took us a long time to even get a ring that didn't have like a like a drawback. Which is fine, you know, it's whatever. But yeah. For like half health, we should probably Yeah, I want to say like multiple streams before we even got a ring that didn't have like some kind of issue. Some kind of like increases damage or... Oh god, hi.
Whoa. Bro, could you not? Well, that was exciting. A little low on, uh... A little lower on resource here than I would necessarily like to be, but that's fine. Forged iron. But what? Oh god! Ah, good tome of knowledge. Free trade point. <laughs> Oh, God. I didn't know. I, we've never seen a melee attack from them before. I forgot to tweet. I tweeted. Oh, yeah. Oh, now what? Tuffy. Such is the nature of the game. I think we came down this way before. That was my bad for uh, for letting him get that close. I knew that he was going to melee. I thought that we had rolled far enough. Yeah, they do have a really good track. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's a true statement. Did we get bandage. Game's trying to tell us something. Too bad I can't read. No. <laughs> Lamau. Worth. Oh my god. Please stop. I can't even. Oh my god. <laughs> now that that gun doesn't do enough damage, dude. Holy hell. I'm glad I popped the heal.
I am not a face tank. What are you doing, dude? You can't shoot at me through the floor. That's cheating. is over here chucking axes at me through the floor like thanks like i needed this to be more difficult i really feel i really feel like in this instance that the typewriter would be better for us at the moment a little bit more ammo flimsy bubbles thank you for the follow i appreciate it Still got hit because I'm a scrub. This is where we died last time. on fire I'm almost out of bullets. Okay, we're good. And stay down. Whew. That was rough. All right, got it that time. And from range, what a better experience. Sturdy. Right, coming back down here to pick up all this stuff that dropped. Better on long gun ammo now. There he is. Decent. At least we're getting decent rolls with the uh, with the breakables. Not that side. 17k scrap, which I know is not a ton. For those of you who have been playing the game for a long time, but it seems to cover most everything that we need. It's like watching uh, watching Man vs. Game play Neo or something like that. And like, I remember from the little bit of, or Neo 2, but either one of them. I remember from the little bit of Neo that I played that, you know, Amrita was a bit tough to come by here and there. A lot of upgrades to happen, and then you look at like him, and he's got like I don't even know forty million, some odd, like just like an excessive amount of uh, of currency in the game. It's all relative. We're a little on the low side for health. I'm trying to decide if I just want to wait for my heal. Actually, we're just gonna go ahead and use this. I think I would rather... Oh, hey, we're done. All right. <laughs> this area 100% feels like we're working towards a boss. As opposed to the other area, which would have been kind of like a mini dungeon, which I do think that we should go back to, if at all possible. <laughs> Alright, nothing over here, just these. Yeah, I mean not not a bad not a bad area for loot. So the problem 
Not that it's a problem, but unless I hit like another big checkpoint, then that's not. I can only go back and forth to the ward from here, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Or I can leave the dungeon. That's fair. Fair, fair. Do, 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 do. So what's everybody got planned over the next few days? Other than probably not much because, hey. Ah, I was right. It is a boss. All right, we're good. The Warden's Pulpit. Which means that there will be another big checkpoint so we can kind of go back a bit from here. Oh, you're kind of cool. Ah, he's got a smaller one. Oh god, hi. Alright, he's dead. Oh god, I'm on fire again. Of course. Cracker. Woo, I'm on fire. There he is. I love how he can jump to shoot the uh, the crossbow stuff. Dude, if you would just stand still for a second. Uh, 
second, I heard. There we go. Woo! Woo! It's over. Zephyr's conduit. Ooh, we're gonna get a uh, a shock-based uh, something or another. Weapon mod, shock-based weapon mod. That was fun. It wasn't like a bad fight. Dude just moved around a lot. There we go. Just taking a peek for any other breakables. Seems like there were a few around the map that we didn't quite get to. Now that it's probably the most important thing. Yeah, we're probably fine. Boop. The pain. Not too bad though. Oh yeah, what's our what's our new trait? Scavenger scrap boost. That's nice. All right, we got 10% crit chance up. So now I think focusing on crit damage would be pretty good because we're 10% more likely to crit with our with our weapons and stuff now. Sorry, one second. Been waiting on this text for just a little bit. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, hold up, where am I? There's a lot of breakables, man. What up, Paul? Sped okay, Toto had keyboard upside down. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm trapped. Okay, I'm good to go now. So many pots. So, yeah. so now the key is that now we should have a checkpoint after this, after this, uh, this boss fight. Doing pretty good, actually, in discussions with a few people, maybe working part-time writing reviews for horror movies. Well, that's neat. How'd you happen to, uh, The Verdant Strand? Nice. How'd you happen to get into, uh, into that gig? Always cool if you can do stuff that uh, that you're interested in like that, though. Wait a second. Yeah. Okay. Neat. Yeah, I know where we're at. No, that's not what we're looking for. Think I want to go this way? I just want to, we'll see what the map's doing. So this is the Verdant Strand.
Is this the... Yeah, this is the other space that we were in. In a few horror movie discords, just contacted by a platform website launching. Oh, all things boops. That's fair. Cool. Yeah, sounds like an eat project. So do you so you like horror movies but not jump scare games? Oh right, this is the same. Bro, we just crittin'. Watch horror films all day, every day, but jump scares in a video game. <laughs> you can't do it. Don't know why. That's fair. I feel like in part it's probably because video games yeah it, yeah because you're not like you know that you're not the one like in the movie no matter how immersive it like can feel sometimes right but in a game like you're the one in control right it's got to be a little tougher I would think All right, so I want to go, yeah, back around this way. This is essentially. Maybe we can just very quietly make our way not over here. Right. Perfect. Missed that simulacrum before. Oh, hi. Okay, no, that was too good. I'm sorry. Tell me, man. So crit damage plus weak spot. I mean, it's legit. That felt good. I mean, even though we didn't get the uh, the unaware bonus, 
Like that was that was still a nice a nice little bit of damage. Oh god, where? Thanks. The SMG was a good pickup. Yeah, it's great to uh, to switch to when enemies get a little bit too close, and then the the spread from it doesn't really matter, right? Like it's just uh, you just get to like sit there and like, and it's good, especially with our with our increased uh, crit chance. I feel like it's a it's a pretty good pickup if we can if we can keep the bullets centered around like the head around like the weak spot, then it uh then it all works pretty well. Getting paid, even if it's a little watch movies, you're gonna watch anyway, sounds like a winner winner. Yeah, no, it sounds great, right? The dream. I feel like I should, uh, I wanna try. I mean, the hunter's mark is nice. Crit chance against marked enemies is increased too, so that, I mean, that, that helps with that. What was I gonna look at? This unstable quills supposed to be pretty good. That's not going to be good on the sniper, though. That'd be good on, like, the typewriter, I think. Yeah, we should probably put the hunter's mark back on here. The increased crit chance seems just nice. Okay, so we have 10% extra crit chance. So then we're going to start doing extra crit damage. Bro, I'm in my safe space. I would like for you to not come into my area, please. This is the area where my bonfire is, and I would appreciate it if you did not come close. Oh! Well, that was new. He got all kinds of zoomy on me. Still have not figured out where their weak spot is. I'm not 100% sure that it's like on the head. But yeah, that's, uh, that sounds pretty fun, Paul. My uh, my horror movie watching is like way, way behind. I mean, I can't even tell you what the last one that I that I actually watched was. Silly Loker is not a huge fan though. That we just don't tend to watch a bunch. Yeah, I know that the uh, that the horror community is uh, pretty hardcore. Oh, I was next to a wall. <laughs> Sniper rifle OP. Please nerf. Uh. 
Like the, the sound for a mini boss plays. The sound for the mini boss being defeated plays. One bullet. I definitely want that. Do, 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 do. What a combo though. Sniper, sniper SMG. Actually, that's a pretty common one, isn't it? In most games. I feel like that's not actually a, I mean, horror movies get released annually if you take into account other countries. Oh yeah. So it's big, it's big in other places too. I know that Oh, what country is it they get that gets a lot of horror movies? Right, that's fair. Am I thinking like Germany? I guess a lot of the uh a lot of the Asian countries get get a fair bit of horror movies too though, right? Tome of Knowledge. That's what's up. Crit damage up. You would think hitting them in the glowy part in the middle of their chest would be the uh, would be the weak spot, but alas, here we are. South Africa has had quite a few releases. Japan's horror market is gigantic. That's always cool. A spirit stone. Don't mind if I take a peek. Increases mod power generation by 25% and weapon mod damage by 10%. Do mm, okay, but for right now, I don't think we're going to get a better combo. That's cool, though. I had no idea. Go South Africa. Okay, there's an exit over there. There's usually not enemies a fair bit pushed out. Um... I guess we actually covered it, huh? I thought there was maybe a place that we didn't go to. It is a tomb, to be fair. So I would really love a better necklace. A better, uh... Whatever, amulet. I'm not, like, a huge fan of any of the ones that we have. Weapon mod damage up. This one is... When enemies fall below 50% health, we do more damage. It's not necessarily helpful for the sniper rifle if it's one-shotting everything. Weapon mod damage up could be nice, but we're not actually using weapon mods that cause damage a whole lot with this setup. Could be better again if we were going to switch to, like, the typewriter. Shock damage, we're not using any shock mods at the moment, and we don't tend to be missing health all that often. So a mod that increases our movement speed as we're missing health is not that beneficial either. All right, tomb's not done yet. We're just chilling. I think I'm gonna go see what this shock shock mod is. Actually, no, I don't. Let's just keep on going. We'll we'll do it after we get out of this. Oh, it's a boss. All right, never mind. All right, it was this one. Let's give it a try. Actually, wait, hold up. 
I'm actually going to switch this one to... Oh, not that. To the unstable quills as well. And we're going we're gonna to see how this goes. I just wanna, I just wanna give it a bit of a, give, give it a bit of a peek here. Mmm, big area. Oh, of course, it has to be one of these assholes. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, right? At least there's no, uh, there's no blood stain for you to, uh... Save. No. I just can't, like, if you get too far away from... Okay, so... I figured out how that one mod worked, and I think if we if we do it the right way, it'll actually be pretty beneficial for us. Um, I think that the that the SMG fills up the uh, the gauge for it rather quickly. Nah, that was my fault. again. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I goofed. I rolled into a wall. Okay. Dude, it's all about that timing. Back against the wall.
Just what a, what a, what a soggy. All right, it's fine. I did it again, though. Hey, Anthro! What's going on, man? Doing, my dude. I was like, I'm gonna use this opportunity to heal. Oh. Dark Souls with guns? Yeah, basically. Dude, rude. Oh no, oh they do fall out after a minute. Okay, that sucks. That's fine. He's almost dead. How's family life? It's going pretty well. You know. All things considered in the pandemic and everything. Oh god. I need to not be in this corner here. Alright, it's fine. Woo! Yeah, family life is great. Kiddos just going to town, you know? GG, thanks, man. Blink Spear Shard. Forge a powerful weapon mod. That's two powerful weapon mods that we have. Nice. Yeah, how are you doing, man? Hey, is it doing okay? But yeah, you know, just, uh... Trucking along, trying to make some, making some changes to, to some content here and there, and taking care of a kiddo. Oh, and we're building a house, so that's always very exciting as well. Woo! That was a mess. Surviving the best you can with the pandemic, right? Right? Yeah, I feel that. There should be. Yeah, there it is. I was like, there's usually a chest after the boss. Yeah. Two days away. Wow, yeah. That makes for long stretches of uh, of work for sure. I was like, bro, we're not done yet, but we are. We're good. I did not realize uh, what brings it right right home? yeah I bet that's been tough little kiddo too right a man other pixel tech Ugh, I cannot help I 
I also... It is wide. Phew! Oh, man. Critical hits increase crit chance and crit damage for three seconds, stacking up to ten times. Recoils reduce... Wow, dude, that's... Guardian's Ring reduces incoming melee damage by 20%. That's legit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be different, right? It will tell me if it fi I like those. Those are nice. It's so Souls-like. Yeah, I know. It's very Souls-like. I like the, uh, I like all the trait points, though. Kind of nice. There's a, you, and you can essentially play the game and max up, like, all of them if you wanted to. Been hacking your way through Doom Eternal on Nightmare. Nice. Not a ton of time for gaming. Right, right. It's good that you have something that you can pop into and, uh, and, you know, try out from time to time. <laughs> Dude, there's a whole area down here. Which way am I supposed to go? Playing DS on uh, PS5 is a long way in the future. Yeah, if I can get my hands on a PS5. I'm, I'm okay waiting, though. You know, there will only be more good games later. Ooh, there's a thing here. A strange curio. Hmm. I'm glad we came back. Okay, let's uh, let's go back and see. An Elden Ring. I don't believe it. Yeah. Oh, dropped a few frames here. That's okay. It's been fixed. Yeah, no note. Everybody wasn't everybody hoping for more Elden Ring info. <laughs> just uh just a little bit ago they were like please please sir any info that you have to spare how's it going eh. take care then i like the game awards or uh anything they were like come on hey. what we got Worth Blink Token, teleports the caster forward up to 13 meters and creates an electrical blast that deals 210 shock damage within 3 meters. And then Wildfire Shot shoots... Okay, this is from the uh, this is from the other guy. Shoots an arcing fireball that deals 25 fire damage and ignites enemies with the burning effect within 2 meters, dealing 300 fire damage over 10 seconds. Yeah, good. Not bad, mod enthusiast. Nice. Keep moving. Ah, good. Ah, let's. How much does it cost to upgrade any of this arc? Forged iron. Yeah, that's it. It's fine. Not bad. Probably a good time to go back to you know what we were using to to clear some areas. Wait. Eh, we can upgrade a little bit. Are we using more than the we're using the sniper and the typewriter mostly, I believe. Go ahead and get some shotgun stuff too though. Alright, I'm okay with this. Particle accelerator is a fair bit of Go ahead and do that too. Alright. That was a lot, but we're fine. I like the radiant stuff. The uh, the Doom Slayer or Doom Sayer is nice though to get that uh get that extra oomph. Alright, there we go. This works for me, for now. This works as my, like, exploring. 
He's gonna finish Game of Thrones before the game comes out. <laughs> that would be something, huh? <sighs> no, I don't think so either. But, you know, I'm okay with that too. I think that's fine. Like I said, I have got nothing but time. We don't want another cyberpunk now. What a mess. What a mess. Feels like my frame rate's like better. No, oh, dude, I missed. I saw him through the trees. Still haven't found a way to upgrade iron. Damn it. Shot him in the back. Mushy Mushy, how's it going, man? Oh, yeah, not a lot going on over there, huh? You just hear upgrade iron? Um, yeah. It's a, it's a mechanic, because you can downgrade it. I would love for the ability to upgrade it as well. Holy hell, what is it? Oh, I missed. Just one of those features that I think would be nice to have. Because in my mind, if I mean, I, I mean, I get being able to like downgrade it. But uh, I think it's just a nice, even if it comes like later in the game. I think it's just a nice feature to be able to uh, to go up with uh, with enough of the resource on the on the other side, you know. Like somebody would have like a forge in the ward, so that you could uh, upgrade. Yeah, and it's been getting better the further we've gotten in. It was, I guess it was in response to initially, like when we got to just the first area that had more like galvanized iron, it still didn't have a ton and everything. Alien Isolation is free on the Epic Game Store today. That is true. From what I've heard, it is a very good spooky game. So I think I now own it a couple of times as well. So exciting. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, you do get a lot of resources. I've I've gotten more as we've uh, continued to to push forward. So it's not like I just got a couple more upgrades. That wasn't necessarily like a like a big deal, really. So I assume in the later areas too, it'll be even. If I don't know how many more areas there are, I mean this area seems pretty intense here. So many different places to go, dude. Hmm. The Tempest Court. Oh, it does go up. Okay. 
Oh, there's a bot. Okay. So we're changing this again as well. A little bit more of a heads up would have been nice. Whatever. Oh, no, yeah. All right, back we go. I don't know what kind of boss it is. We'll find out. Seems like a fairly straightforward arena, at least. Oh, he's a quick boy. Oh no, Mushi, please, please don't spoil it for me. I'll figure it out. I'll ask for help if we, uh... That's a rock. Okay. I can appreciate how long that lasts.
Not too bad. Better than the last one. Ooh, Arcane Strike. Great unlocked. So, sure, I'm fine knowing now. Emote unlock tea time. Nice. Melee mod power. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Um, ooh, a powerful weapon. Neat. I wonder if it's a melee weapon. Um, okay, so the chest. Okay, I don't actually think. Oh, because there's a big old gap here. Not actually as many ads going on there as I uh, as I expected to see, which was pleasant. He's got two modes. Hi. There's a totem that switches. Oh, that's kind of neat. Definitely not something that I noticed, like, at all. <laughs> angry mode and angrier mode. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Easy mode and hard mode. Woo! Oh, right. I guess there wasn't... Outside of that other area... I bet this is the actual progression... The other one was just an extra dungeon. So we were here at the Verdant Strand. Red totem is range mode, blue totem is melee. Oh, so you can fight him like melee or ranged. So there's this area. So we're, we're here now. We had unlocked this down here. And, uh, and hadn't actually been down here yet to, to see what was happening. If I had to guess, though, we probably need to go the other way. Now let's see if we can go just take a quick peek. Range mode, more attacks on range. Oh, okay. Just a quick reset on all of that stuff. Yeah, that was fun. That was a fun fight. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go take a quick peek. Mmm, that's cool. I, you know, yeah, I, I never know. Uh, I realize that the game has been out for a little bit, which is why I'm just trying to err on the side of, uh, some, some people are very free with, uh, with specific fight information. That's nothing. Lol. I shot a rock. Oh, dude, what? Shoot the gun, do damage, yeah. Bulletproof leaves, yeah. Whatever that tree is, putting it all around my house. Where am I? Hang right. Not. don't use that. Dude. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ow. Needless to say, being able to see where they are coming from, quite the boon. Right, that's fair. It really, it really depends on how you're choosing to, uh, how you're choosing to use it. I actually don't use it all that often. Um, I I like the because uh, as long as the enemies are within like fifteen meters, something like that, they're marked, and we have an increased crit chance. And since we're kind of a crit build of sorts, um, it works even for like the SMG. I say crit build, like I know what I'm doing. I really don't. All right, this is where I'm trying to go. This is the this is the only other area so far that we have in uh <laughs> crit build. As far as I am aware, I am trying to do things that point my build in the, into the direction of the numbers getting bigger by chance. But we're trying our best to make that chance as likely to happen as possible. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Never mind. I was like, is this where that other thing goes? Nope. It's not. Yes, it is. Aha! Good thing we didn't come this way before. Yo, I swear, am I going to have to fight this big ass thing? Let's find out. Oh, Jesus! I don't have a build for this! No! Holy, yes I do. Never mind, we're fine. Oh god. Actually, no. Oh, do I have root rot inflicted right now? I don't even know what I just picked up because it was like so in my face. No, there was there was one other thing too. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know that we we definitely picked up one. Maybe maybe it was two. No, it couldn't have been two of them. Oh, it was a headpiece. Cool. 
Thank you. <laughs> Black Star Romaine, how's it going, man? Oh, it was this other radiant piece for the extra momentum. Okay, I like it. I like it. So now we have that whole radiant set. <laughs> Feels good. <sighs> well, that was a short lived dungeon. Neat. I was wondering when we were going to get that other piece. Did you like that? Like, I don't have a build for a boss, and then I use Hunter's Mark, reload the sniper rifle, and do, like, 1k damage to the thing's head. I'm assuming that I didn't actually kill it. And that, uh... I'm just curious, like, will it come back? Can I try again? Nope. I don't think so. Maybe we'll see him again later. Injured this time. That was cool. I don't necessarily want to run back through the dungeon, but that was nice. Free Tome of Knowledge, so extra trait point fleshed out that uh that armor gear which is pretty cool so now we now we can just go back i am glad that 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 didn't take like 30 minutes to get through thank <laughs> Like they could have, it could have been some like really long dungeon, you know, could have taken forever. I really just want to get back to the, uh, to the rock, man. I'm out of bullets. <laughs> I, I, thank you for standing still while I took care of that, Woo! though. It's over. Alright. I feel like that armor is going to be pretty nice for boss fights. Anything that's going to up our, like, crit chance while we're not necessarily using a lot of, like, duration-based... Um, while we're not using a lot of duration based mod power, like it's just the, uh, like we're shooting the spikes at something or whatever, like, you know, it seems, seems pretty handy this way because that is just going to increase crit chance and, you know, everything like that, just going to be able to go to town really now entering the founder's prison. Seems like a promising place to find at least some more information about said founder that we are looking for. <sighs> Read Blood War, dude. Hello? 
How am I supposed to talk to him? Oh! <laughs> uh, that was the buggiest. <sighs> well, I'll be. Never thought I'd see a human again. How the hell did you get here? This world, I mean. Oh my god. Uh, the root mother told me to search uh, the labyrinth. The root mother, you said. Why would she send you after me? I have to stop the root. Root on the atoll. You mean Ward 17? <laughs> Why, in God's name, would you? Oh, holy hell. Clawbone's the source. Harsgard's dreamer was the gate. My my life's work. Fair warning. You're walking a pretty dangerous road. But maybe... Just, 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 just maybe... You'll succeed where I fail. How can I help? Uh, can you tell me how to get yeah. to the tower? I know how to get in. There's a mirror in Ward 13. Not where the survivors live. In the lower floor. Locked away. That mirror is like a door to the other wards. Here. This key will let you unlock the computer connected to the mirror. Sure. I have more questions. But don't waste time. The root aren't waiting around for you. Why don't you come with me? <sighs> look at me. Do I look like I still got any fight left in me? I wish I could. But those days are long gone. Good All right. <laughs> You'll need it. The Founder's Key. I'm okay. Good talking with you, buddy. Long journey to get here. Feel free to go home now. We did it. Please give more stamina. All right, back to the ward we go. So I'm not 100% sure we've checked out like all of the dungeons and our journeys and everything to all the different worlds, but I feel like we did a pretty good job. So I'm not overly bothered. <laughs> <laughs> by progressing here. I would assume that, that the dude has come back. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Eye Point of time. the storm. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a big one. Ooh. Ooh. Ideal range 25 meters. Max ammo 45, static field shot, fires a projectile that deals 65 shock damage and applies the overloaded effect. Overloaded enemies will trigger an explosion when they get within four meters from each other, dealing more shock damage. Oh, that's kind of nice. I've got work to do. I just let you craft an exotic, out of this world ah, weapon, but... and I get nothing but attitude, dude. Is this like another sniper? Dude, haha, -ha, damage go burr. <laughs> Be safe out there. I'm very curious. Oh no, it doesn't have a zoom. What am I gonna do? Kind of nice though. Okay, before we uh, press forward, I just need to step away and take a quick break. Uh, we're gonna make our way back down and see what awaits us uh, here in just a second. So, cool stuff. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and switch the what's going on here. Thanks, BT. Mr. Mustache, how's it going? Uh. 
we're gonna upgrade the dragon heart at least one more time. You've much has oh, right. changed since You've the grown. Have this world, what the root have taken. This may. Oh, I don't have enough luminite crystals. Yeah, Rip me, dude. Is well, child. Good, good to hear. Searching for someone to play with. We're, uh, I hope you find somebody. Can you join? No, we're sticking pretty solo. Or actually, totally solo. Um, for, uh, for this playthrough. I do wish you luck in finding somebody to play with, though. Yeah, thank you. You as well. I don't think that there's anything else over here that I want to go for. You will need? Yeah. Hasn't been so bad so far. Oh, this is that mirror. Right. This is definitely what he was talking about. I'm just going to go make sure. There's some stuff over and around here that we haven't haven't really been to yet. Ooh. A bandage. Huzzah. Oh, we have infinite sprint here. Okay, that's good. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, I thought that we could walk up over there. That's fine. Good to know that we can just run. Is there? Ah, there's, okay, this spot for the key here. Uh, founder's key. There we go. Hit any key to continue. No unauthorized as access. System diagnostics. It's all good. Do it. Initializing the mirror. Oh, baby. Here we go. <laughs> Find an end to the root. Oh, baller, dude. Now entering Ward 17. That says Ward 16, though. Bro? What's happening? I miss my, my sniper zoom. Oh, look at it. I love how like when you're when you're back at ward thirteen. That you have like unlimited stamina and it's like for no other reason other than they're like you should just be able to traverse this area as quickly as you might want still pretty funny though one second just checking nope all right Okay, so I feel like I asked this question in my head and then didn't actually physically ask it. But has anybody played any good indies this year? All right, might as well sit. No enemies on the other side. Yo! He's got branches on him. He's alive! Once again, the children of the core think to change the inevitable. 
They do not see the truth, the futility of their actions. Bro, I'm just trying to get to Bioshock. I'm trying to get to, to Rapture. Chaos, serenity to Bedlam. All will be consumed. This is necessary and good. The children do not understand. The children believe their lives worth living. The children are wrong. The worlds, yeah, they do a little the bit, don't they? The worlds live in pain, agony, discord. We bring peace, equality, silence. All are one within our embrace. The children resist what cannot be resisted. They fight a battle that cannot be won. Ah, villain monologues. Their actions are ultimately irrelevant. No matter oh! how many times they rise, they oh, you can stand up. Oh no, it's Doc Ock. We will consume. Dude, I didn't think this was a boss fight. Oh god. Oh god, hi. <laughs> Wait, was that it? Oh no, okay, here we go. I didn't I, I didn't know this was gonna be the boss battle. I don't have like the same weapons that I would have used or the same mods or anything like that. Oh what the hell dude! Suddenly JRPG boss, right? Um Um... I don't know. I feel like a like I'm playing Destiny 2 with a backpack here. That's what this armor look kind of reminds me of. Fine, dude, it was worth a shot. One second. That was something, I don't even know what happened. Like. I like how the character still says, woo, it's over. Like, you know damn well better than that at this point. Come on, come on! Nope. Dude, what? 
I thought, okay, so, okay, so the, the main experiment with that run, even though it was over exceptionally quickly, was that I wanted to see if, uh, if you needed to pop the balls, but they were moving much too fast for that, I think. Nope, missed it. Yeah, it certainly didn't. Okay, um, a little bit more here. Okay. This is fine. The, the mod that's on our Chicago typewriter is not what we want, but I'm also exceptionally curious. Oh, right. Duh. We should, we should switch weapons if we would like. I have a, a thought. Oh ho ho! Dude, what? Crit damage, crit damage. <laughs> okay. Yo, Jason, what up, man? Just woke up. Nice. Okay, so you can dodge that. I just don't know where you're supposed to shoot. Oh. You're just supposed to survive for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I actually don't know if this is the armor that I want. Oh, pow, yeah. So the uh, the benefit of the other stuff that's lighter, I think that that there is an actual effect at um, the uh, 
like your stamina regen and the speed at which you're like the distance and the speed that you're rolling we we've kept like the same armor for most of this, most stuff So, I think being in the heavier armor is not necessarily what we're going for. You just kind of have to wait for like until like the very last second, I think. Okay, so I see him wrapped up in here. My, my finger is like all up on like the wrong side of the keyboard. Oh, you take damage while you're in here, too. Okay. Noted. Okay, I see. Ah, dude. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay, I'm not so sure that... I mean, the sniper is great for this initial phase, right? But it's quite slow for everything after that. I just don't think that I want the wildfire shot. Um, hmm. See, I think it's been like, it's like great for that first phase, but it very quickly, like, we could still, um, I think it's a damage check on that on that first one. So as long as we're still dodging We can skip this transformation. I get it. The JRPG transformation, if I've ever seen one. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Dude. 
But he takes like a little bit. I'm just trying to decide if it's a, if it's like a, um, do I need to do that damage or like not a, like, do I, is it a timed thing like initially or is it something else? That was bad. It's over. But yeah, he definitely doesn't take a lot of damage. The numbers are really exceptionally small in the first one. Yeah, I think so. So it's like a survival thing. Yeah, right. Whoopsies. Okay. I mean, he does take a, a decent chunk of fire damage. Dead. Yeah. I was not far enough behind him. First stage is not that bad. So like, I mean, I don't think it's supposed to be that bad, hence the second stage. So I, I liked our, our strategy. If we don't have the bubble, I like being under him, but we actually need to be like behind him when he fires, because then the things kind of arc around and uh, hit the ground. So yeah, I guess my, my main thing was is like, is it a timed thing? Is it it seems like it's always after. Oh dude. I feel like I tried to dodge it like the last second there and it was just like Bleh. <clears throat> whips out the heavy guns, right? Man, it's yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so I just haven't quite figured out. Like the the orb attack happens so quickly, and if you, it seems like if you get hit mostly, then you're you're just kind of like dead. Okay, so it's definitely not a damage thing in this initial phase. Oh, dude, I thought I was under him. It just like, it does make him look like it. Yeah, a little bit. 
Maybe, because it doesn't seem like he's, like, aware of you initially. So, like, getting a little closer. Yeah, right in the kisser. So I think maybe getting a little closer before we do that initial fire so that we have a better chance of dodging it. The, the bubble did work. The problem is that it doesn't respawn fast enough for the second phase, in my mind. That that was my thinking of it, is that it just didn't it just didn't respawn fast enough. Dude, I he was like I was like against the edge of the arena and I couldn't continue and like our strategy. I'm so confused. That life bar, yeah. I mean, at least the first stage is not the toughest thing to get through. I just wish that we could skip this. <laughs> I was trying to just like tap around. <laughs> Didn't have game mode turned on. So the Windows key still worked. At level six, no, we're at like level 80 or something like that. Not that it matters a whole lot. It's so dark. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this the final boss? Yeah, I think so. Bro, you weren't supposed to do that three times. That's cheating. Hey, I survived. Oh no! Oh my god. Okay. The game couldn't possibly be lying, could it? No. Um, so we should definitely probably utilize some blood wart here and there. I think that would be fairly beneficial. Uh, I, I, I just always forget about it. Um, The game just went on and on and on, right?
Man, I really don't know. Uh, okay, so just the key is to remember to utilize the blood wart a little bit more for some more healing over time. Don't forget to try and do damage to the boss. I Something is going on. Maybe they're the key? Maybe. It, it's like... um. Dude, what? I think they're just there to try and prevent you from... I think that they're just there to try and prevent you from, um, like, getting out easily. I wanted to save my mod there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can easily outrun them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's not it's not easy to outrun them, but you're also ticking damage while you're in that in that void. Which is really weird. I don't get this stupid orb attack. There has to be something else. But yeah, so there was definitely like a thing, like you, you kind of did like some stagger. Um, I don't think that this, I don't think that that is working as well as we want it to. What if we blinked? I don't know if that's exactly what we're looking for. I feel like Flicker Cloak might be good. 10 second cooldown. No, that's the one that I didn't, I don't think that one's gonna work out as well as I would hope. It just lasts so this one lasts 50 seconds if we do it this way maybe bubbling after we get out the first time would be better and then we can just switch to the typewriter and do damage uh, I don't know man and then on the submachine gun it's pretty easy to regain power there's no like cooldown on it so as long as we're shooting at the enemy and hitting it, it's pretty easy to regain the power overall. We'll see.
down. Okay. I just haven't found like a better method to actually like dodge yet. So then while we're in here, no, we're not generating nearly enough mod power. I just don't, is my better bet if I'm in that situation and I can't get like to just run further away? It seems like what's really getting us is our, so, so we did good damage there. Note to self, though, is that the, the Blood Ward is not enough. That one time that you killed two enemies. I don't know. I think that was just coincidental. I, there's like a thing. I feel like we staggered it earlier when we did it that way. Um, there's like something when we were shooting the thing, the spikes at like that very first, that very first time when it was like, oh, look at all this damage. So we shot the spikes and I think those hit. And after that, I haven't been able to actually get it to where the spikes are hitting. Like every time we go to explode them, they're just like, uh, they're just like chilling. Uh, I don't know, man. There's so much. Healing effect. Let's just do that real quick. Let's do an extra 10% healing effectiveness. Seems nice. I don't know. It could be a lot of things, I guess. So yeah, I just can't figure out the way that to, to avoid those orbs yet. And maybe that's what we need to focus on.
Because I would really love to not need to bubble. got a really like when he goes down into the ground his hitbox is like above his head it's really weird but I yeah I just like I don't want to waste my bubble initially when it seems like it does us more like it does better for us later There has to be a more consistent way to dodge that. So I'm gonna take off the bubble for right now. Cause I would much rather, I would much rather have other means of damaging him. They're like, has to be a better way. So it's not shooting them. That doesn't do anything. We found out that, it, and it's not necessarily being underneath him. It's the fact that, the, that they have to travel more in order to actually reach us is what's happening. Dwarven Yak, thank you for the follow. First playthrough, it is, yes. Okay, yeah, I th okay, I think I was right. Awesome game, it's been pretty fun, yeah. I'm not enjoying this, uh, this volley thing. But uh, the, the rest of the game has been pretty enjoyable. Not enjoy I mean, it's fine. I just haven't, the, uh, the volley has been killing us so quickly that it's been really tough to uh, to get a feel. Did I get, no, this is just the free version that came through Epic a little bit ago. So I don't have a DLC yet. I haven't decided, I, we're gonna move on to another game shortly after, after beating it. I don't know at, at what pace. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's been good. It's been good for sure. And I can definitely see you coming back to do more, or, you know, like anything, anything like that. God dang, dude. Yeah, well, that was kind of my assumption. It's been it's been easy to dodge if we've been underneath him, but we don't always get far enough. Because because of the travel time, and I and I know that that's what it is. But yeah, I figured going way back. Yeah, first phase is fine, yeah. We rarely have issues with the first phase unless we just get caught a little bit too much. Oh yeah, that's way easier. Yeah, I think you were right, BT. I think killing enemies is uh, is the way to go. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I thought it was the, uh, I thought it was the number of times we had been in this world initially. I didn't realize it was, uh, it was counting up for us. close. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Yeah. You didn't kill enemies there. I felt like it. Yeah. I wasn't killing enemies either. Third phase time. No. It'd be a Dark Souls thing, wouldn't it? We're getting all these, uh, all these items and stuff. That was a lot easier. Thank you guys. That was uh, that was fun. 
So there was a bit of the mechanic thing. I, I do think that if we would have spent more time getting further back, it felt like sometimes that we were close enough that we should have been able to get underneath. And that was working. But I, I did figure that it was the travel time that was spreading out the orbs and making them easier. So there was that. And then we shouldn't have been running through that the, the Nightmare Realm. We definitely weren't. We were doing like some damage, but definitely not that much damage. So that was good. I, I was thinking like, I was in like panic mode and my uh, and my health was like, I didn't, even with the blood work or anything, I, like, I didn't feel like it was like staying even enough or anything like that. So I was like, ah, I don't know. So yeah. Oh, we were there at the tower. Cool. Praise the gun. <laughs> ah, I love it. We did it. Nice. Is there no credit music? Bruh. Bruh. Where's the credit music? Lame. I mean, it could have bugged. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah. It's a very odd choice. Anyways, we liked, I like to watch the credits. Uh, Big congrats to all of these people that worked on this game. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, it felt really tense a lot of the time. And at least on normal mode, it felt really tense because of the setting and the music and the sound design and everything like that without being incredibly unfairly overwhelming. Um, and then again, this is, we were in normal mode this whole time. Um, but like, uh, it uh it never felt unfair a lot of the time. They were just mechanics to learn. Um, we didn't even die that much on most bosses. Um, I wouldn't even call our deaths in on that final boss a whole lot. I mean, we were still able to knock that out in like 25 minutes or something like that. We have had some Dark Souls streams that have been much more extreme in the amount of time that it has taken to to complete things. So all in all, all it all felt pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I had a good, I had a good time with the playthrough. A lot of different areas. Uh, There's a lot of conversations with people that we like didn't have because uh, I wasn't in the mood to sit and listen to conversations. Um, yeah, I enjoyed a lot of the stuff. A lot of the different guns felt felt good for different things. Uh, we didn't use a whole lot of different mods we kind of had the few that we really liked i liked the uh the healing aura for exploring out in other areas i liked the uh the fire mod i liked the black hole the particle accelerator was fun um you know enjoyed some of the the other weapons later but we kind of kept our starting armor we just upgraded a bit <laughs> uh which i it didn't seem like there were actually a whole lot of different types of armor outside of that uh that one that we picked up. I'm sure that there were a few other types, but it didn't seem super necessary. Um, yeah, I enjoyed the sniper a lot. I enjoyed the machine gun and the 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 typewriter and the uh and the shotgun for bosses. I enjoyed the sniper, like the sniper rifle and the particle accelerator for exploring, because it was easy to just, you know, dink enemies just like one shot. It was nice. Um so that was good. Uh, yeah, felt felt good. I like all the talents. There's a lot of different builds that you can uh that you can that you can go for. Um adventure mode for the game so you can actually change up the areas and how they're generated. It's almost a bit of a bit of a roguelike sort of thing and you can go back through areas and uh and re-explore. You can roll for for to try and get different bosses, to get different items cuz we only saw one set moving through obviously. 
Uh, and I believe that there's like a an alternative. There's at least one alternative boss for each of the areas uh, that we could have fought, which seems pretty neat. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of replayability if you want it. Um, I think that they did want to rely pretty heavily on multiplayer for stuff. Um, for you to uh, to like play with with like a party and everything like that. Um, which could also make playing a lot more fun. You just hop in and, you know, you're just going with some friends and grinding through some areas and everything like that. Um, not something that we did on this one, though. It's uh, it's tough from a streaming perspective to uh, to regularly play with, like, other, like, non-streamers because, obviously, I needed to progress through the game so that we could move on to other things and if i was relying on other people to to get through it could be tough but you know it could be a lot of fun if you have some friends if everybody picked it up for free in the uh in the epic store you know a lot of a lot of good times do, 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 do. But yeah it was a fun game gun souls was uh pretty solid pretty good time Yeah. It's almost so the the main differences between Dark Souls other than the guns, right, is that uh the enemies were very like ad focused but a bit more buggy, a little bit buggy, yeah. Um but yeah, the uh, the enemies are really ad focused, even the bosses, a lot of ads going on in the fights. That's not something that you get with the Souls games. Um Other than that, you know, that was probably the main difference is just that they were focused a lot on like these like waves of enemies as opposed to uh, just the boss fight. Um, some of them were worse than others. Just really depended. Um, the guy with the crossbow with the with the little bird demon bat demon thing that was also shooting fire at us. The only reason that was annoying is because there were enemy spawns and the area had a bunch of different levels and the game doesn't perfectly work with height differences. Is a little weird. Uh, and that one was uh, that one was pretty intense, but we did do that the first try through also. So you know, how intense was it really? Um, but yeah, yeah, gun souls a bit more buggy, but yeah, very similar. You know, stamina system, a lot of different traits that you unlock as you go, which is cool. Um, like I said, you could build however you wanted to build, really, using like the like leveling the trait where all of the healing was more effective. Like, I mean, you get to, I don't even know, like, <laughs> it's, I because mean, it goes quick. It was at like 5%. It goes for 20 levels and we put like one trait point into it and we were at 10% more effective. Um, So with more trait points, I mean, you could probably have it so that you're like, you like slam a blood wart in the beginning of that uh nightmare realm kind of thing. Uh, You like slam a blood wart and then, uh. And then you're just like healed. Like it's probably like over healing you. Cool. I believe that was the credits. Um, so anyways, you got that. You got builds that are probably a little bit more inclined to uh, to face tanking. Uh, anything like that. We got mind's eye, rain da ranged damage. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Resets all spent trait points. Ooh, neat. Powerful weapon. Cool. Let's go take a peek at what this weapon is. So we didn't even use this phase. I bet if we would have used this phase and shot the quills when he was like exposed. What? Yeah. The repulsor. I bet that if we would have used the quills when he was exposed and not when we were trying to expose him, uh, that it probably would have done a lot of damage. Banish fires a projectile that banishes enemies into another dimension for four seconds. When they return, they'll take 1.25 times the damage from the repulsor's primary fire for eight seconds. Powerful enemies won't be banished, but will take increased damage. Yeah, good. Neat. I'm not in the mood for chat. A pretty wild weapon, dude. 
banish them to the shadow realm, basically, right? I just wanted to see. So he didn't come back with us at all? So that labyrinth does exist. My grandfather ranted about a moving tower in the city. A, a door to more doors, he said. I honestly never thought it was real. Maybe he is still out there. I appreciate your hard work out there. That beast has been a thorn in our side for years. Hopefully we can make more supply runs now. I like how there's like not they're just like, yep. That was rough. It'd be like, yo, I just saved the world. Anyways, that was fun. It's like a shotgun almost. Oh yeah, it is a shotgun. Wild, dude. It's a pretty cool weapon. There's so little kindness left in the world. Ah, now we can buy things. Ah, there we go. All. That would have been handy. Take care then. Is hardened iron something that you only get from like uh like the higher difficulty or anything like that? If anybody knows. You can corrode yourself with it. All right, that was fun. So yeah, so you can go, yeah, 13 hours, not bad. 14 hours basically on normal difficulty to get, to get, to get through. So you can re-roll your campaign, just like the whole thing, or you can just go into adventure mode. And you can just do whatever you want to do over here. Kind of fun. Nah, not what I wanted. Alright, cool stuff. That is Remnant from the Ashes, though. Complete. 